Hey guys, welcome back to Bernard from the BJ Tech News. And as you can see, I found this new cool app from Microsoft. They actually built an app for the iPad devices and iPhone devices to remote desktop to do an RDP session uh, or connection with your Windows machines on your floor. Now, I've been using this app for a while and I'm loving it. Now, with the Microsoft Remote Desktop app, you could connect to a remote PC and your work resources from almost anywhere, guys. Experience the power of the Windows with the Remote FX and a remote desktop client designed to help you get your work done whenever you are. Now the application is free which is awesome. It's very self-explanatory. As you can see I'm, I'm creating a connection right now to my home computer. Uh, you give your connection a name, something that you could remember, something that's very usable. Uh, I'm, that's why I'm entering home computer because that's what I'm going to connect to. Uh, if you're at your job and you're not located at your computer uh, you're in the same network as your your wireless device. Uh, you could give it the IP address, or you could give it the the FQDN, which is the fully qualified domain name, to the server or to the workstation. If you're away from your uh, office and you have a private IP address, you can enter the private I, uh, IP address. Uh, as you can see, I, I'm you can put the password into that. If you do not want to cash in your password, you could just hit login, and it gives you three options to do not connect, connect once, or connect always. Uh, if you connect always, what it's going to do is going to cash it into your iPad, and you don't have to deal with this dialog box. I'm going to do a connect once because I just want to connect to it. When you connect to your device, what's going to happen is going to prompt you into your Windows device. As you can see, you can see your user accounts. I love the way it feels. The only problem is with the application is you can't really do too much pinching and zooming in and zooming out. Uh, the way of using, like going up and down, side to side, the sliding, the scrolling, the the keyboard, the keyboard input. I mean, it's great. It works flawless, from my opinion. Uh, the only thing I don't like about it, I can't zoom in on certain things. I can't pinch to zoom out and all those good features about it, but. You know, I could deal with that. Uh, within settings, you, you're able to have security certificates. You're also able to add a gateway. Uh, your remote desktop licensing, if you use a cow, that's pretty cool as well. On remote resources, don't really have too many options on remote re resources. But on remote desktop, as you can see, you, you're able to manipulate into consoles, sound, or swap the mouse input. I'm really happy about the app, but I want to know what you guys use to remote desktop in your environment. I, I've been using this for a while, and I really like it. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed it, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.